Who's a guy like this one with a guy like me? I still got the same old cars. This came fresh from that heist mission. Hello? Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ah, good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent Chiffon. repo guy, yes? This is kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. <laughs> Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. Not coming from you, please. <laughs> mm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. <laughs> Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'll guess we will, homie. Why is everybody... Doing that abonic stuff like that, Frank. Why him? Why is there always long drives? I know it makes the map feel huge, but like, you don't have to say it so many times. We're already well into this game, and we're still like, oh, this map is big. I don't need that reinforcement. I, I got the message. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race on. He just you pulls just up and says race. that? You can just do that? Where are we racing to? None of this was made clear. I couldn't have went to my garage and got my Turismo. My Gran Turismo. Man, no way they could drive this good, even if they got these cars. No way. One of them should have crashed already. Better be NASCAR drivers or something. Come back, Jeff Gordon. Come back, Jimmy Johnson. I haven't even used a special ability since the first time I used it in this room. I don't know if I should or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to win. Was it supposed to stop him or what? How long does this race go on for? Jeez. Let me use it. Let me use it to get past him. See if that helps out. Okay, maybe it was gonna help out. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Pull over and take the cars. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Duh. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. I'm following you, Trevor. I don't know why we're going so slow. My God. Did you just call a sticky bomb, Trevor? We got to get close. I've been holding down. Yeah, we gotta R2 stick with them. They gotta the stop sometime. And I 
can't get past Trevor for whatever reason. As long as we, we can, can keep just with impersonate them, we'll pull cops. This off. Like nobody checks us. Hey, they're doing cop stuff. When I catch these assholes! Driving into Polito Bay, traffic might slow him down. Oh my gosh. Our Ooh, patience will be rewarded. Lives. Stay with him. I don't care, no. Oh, I've driven around the whole of southern San Andreas before they stop. Almost there. The back. I think they want him to stop and take the booking. Good things come to those who wait. Why is this taking so long? <laughs> you know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. Entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! Mm -hmm. You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! These are some nice cars. Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try small enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a... I'm a racist Franklin, so... Real race. Oh, that's not fair. I already gave Michael a head start. Don't matter. Hello? Don't matter. Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devin we got them cards. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? I ain't so messing up We gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LS. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you, asshole. <laughs> you know I gotta race with Frank. I need that ability and the driving skill. Oh man, that was close. This is all too close. Hey Frank, yeah, right. Tell you, bro. It's a drive mission. Yeah, this is it's an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rise and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> man, y'all remember the first race? That car was so messed up. I'm trying to get not a scratch on this one. Not a singular scratch. You want me to slow down? Come on, come on, no scratches. 
give me a, give me something. Give me an open patch of road. Come on now. There we go. He paying me a fraction of what they work. It don't sound that different to be honest. Ah, crap. Now you must know who this guy is. I'm sorry for chopping up the dialogue. Oh. Oh. All that works for nothing. What you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. I wouldn't write off Uncle T. That's a weird one. Oh crap, y'all right there. I don't even care anymore. I'm hitting all the signs. I lost my not a scratch, because I know there's gonna be a requirement to get the gold like that. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Ooh. I'm dangerous. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing her job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my way. Cut off that dialogue when my car messed up. I don't care. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five. And five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. <laughs> Boom. Dog, oh, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. <laughs> you don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Might have to stop this soon. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper, Clinton, you're on the ground. Stupid yeah, uh, I don't Let's understand see. the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mm. mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Yeah, where's, where's the car I can go in? And the garage just closes. The mission time was on me though, okay. But I made everything else cool. Give me a car, somebody. Your pants are